650 missing persons cases open in Oklahoma right now. A Tulsa woman is calling on state lawmakers for help. She and her family are one of many attending a rally at the Capitol tomorrow. I spoke with Billy Treese, who says she has little answers in her husband's disappearance, and it's been nearly two years now. Gregory Treese is a father of two. He was battling lymphoma in June of 2022 when he left with his brother and a friend to go fishing. His wife, Billy, never saw him again. We don't stop thinking about it, you know, and like my daughter, she's seven years old. She's still, I miss my daddy. Where is daddy? And I, I don't have a good answer to that still. Billy said after his disappearance, she got conflicting stories from her brother-in-law. We do know that they were fighting based off of a text. Teresa's last known location was here at his mother's house outside of Sepulpa. Billy was told by the brother that Gregory took off walking, but his shoes and shorts were found at the house. It's gravel roads. Um, it's not somewhere that you would just take off. Uh, barefoot. Multiple searches with cadaver dogs on the property and neighbor's properties have taken place. Billy believes they would have found him by now if he was here. Billy hasn't spoken to the investigator on the case since last September and now that investigator is involved in a several month training course. Billy believes a major problem with missing persons cases is the limited resources departments are dealing with new cases come along and so you know there's only so much attention that can be given towards this. Billy just wants answers for closure and to help take care of her children. Their life insurance policy requires a death certificate. I've had to just learn how to be a single mom without these benefits um, and so that's difficult. Do you think that the brother knows more than he's letting on? Yes, I believe that he absolutely knows what happened to him and where he is. Um, I wish he would find it in his heart to tell us. He is currently in jail for domestic assault and battery, arrested just a few months after Teresa's disappearance. In the meantime, Billy is hoping lawmakers will hear pleas that more resources are critical. Tomorrow's rally at the Capitol starts at 1030 in the morning. Organizers are trying to collect 650 shoes to represent each missing person in Oklahoma. And afterwards, they plan to donate them to the homeless community in the Oklahoma City Metro.